Tammy C. Walker here, life coach, therapist, social worker. My website is www.dreamsarereality.com. Subscribe, like, stay tuned. Okay, I come to you bringing you videos to help bring encouragement, to help raise self-esteem, to help give you hope and peace. I know what it's like to be depressed. I know what it's like to survive tragedy. So that's what my channel is all about. Refer anyone to my channel, any woman that has survived breast cancer or any man that has survived any form of cancer. Um, I think this channel will be helpful for them. Today, I want to talk to you about not living a life of regrets. Um, I read an article and it gave many reasons why people that were on their deathbed, they had regrets. And here are just a few of the ones that they named. The number one one was they wish they had lived more for themselves. How many people do you know that became an attorney because that's what mom and dad wanted or they were a football player because that's what dad wanted instead of really being the artist that they wanted to be, the poet, the ballet dancer. Um, it's, I've even heard of someone quitting a job and going to join the circus. If that's what they wanted to do, by all means necessary, we have to be true to ourselves and do what we want to do. Live your life for yourself. Growing up, I went to a vocational high school in Chicago, and I always had a liking for the fine arts. I'm a singer, songwriter. When I listen to music, when I sing, I feel no pain. Yet my fears um, kept me from really being that vocalist that I knew and know that I was able to be. So I went down the path of business. Absolutely hate business. It really doesn't even resonate with who I am. But I was a vocational uh, major in my high school in business. And that's what I stuck with. Well, as I went through my journey of life by the age 37, or really 6, almost 37, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And it really made me say, why am I here? After overcoming breast cancer, I became a life coach. And still, the question was burning. Why am I here? I know I'm here to help others. So I went back to school. I had a BA in business. So I went back and my master's in um, social work. And now, now I'm a therapist. I work in HR for a corporate company, and I'm a therapist. So I have to admit, I'm very proud of myself. I'm almost 49 years old. I'm not telling you that to brag, but I want to motivate you. If you're watching my video, you're 25, 35, 45, whatever age you are, I want you to go out and live your life for yourself. Do something for yourself. It's going to make you feel so good. But that was one of the regrets. They wish they had to live their life for themselves. Another one they said is they hated that they did not speak up for themselves. They did not speak their truth. We have to speak our truth, even when it hurts, even when... We don't want to offend, but we have to be truthful. Being in corporate America for many years, I've been under attack from managers where they have been verbally abusive to me, you know, using profanity. And every time they did it, I checked them on it every time. And I, I stood in my truth. And when they did it, I would go right behind them and say, I don't want you to ever speak to me like that again. I don't appreciate what you just said. You are not to use that tone with me. I always corrected them. Now, uh, I didn't care if they walked me out the door. I'm just being brutally honest with you. I have to live in my truth. As much as I need an income, I'm a woman first. I'm a person first. I deliberately treat everyone with respect and professionalism because that's what I want done back to me. I'm nowhere near perfect, but I'm really meticulous with my treatment of others. So you will not speak to me in that tone. Always say how you feel. And saying how you feel doesn't mean going off on somebody, being belligerent, or having an argument. It means standing up for yourself and speaking your truth. And that's one of the regrets that people said on their deathbed. They wish they had have spoken up for themselves. They said they didn't want to rock the boat, so they didn't say anything. Sometimes you need to tip that boat over. They could swim. If they can't, they'll be all right. Hmm. Number three, I wish I didn't work so hard. How many of us are out there working 50, 60, 70 hours? Cut it out. 
Go be with your son. Throw that ball to your son. Go play a game with your daughter. Play dress up. You know, work will be there. How much money do you need? Your family needs you. First, they're six years old, then they're 16, they're driving a the car. Stop working so hard. Get out there and make it happen. God rest my dad's soul. My dad worked for 30 years for the railroad here in Chicago, and he retired in July 1997. By February 1999, my dad passed away from a massive heart attack at the age of 64. He did not get to enjoy his life to the fullest. Go out. Please enjoy your life. I beg you. Don't work so hard. Listen to me now. Listen to me. And one more thing they said is they wish they had stayed in touch. 2019, we text, we're on social media, but the phone contact has dwindled. Pick up the phone and say, hey, you've been on my mind. Pick up the phone and tell somebody you love them and you care. Nothing will ever replace the human touch. Not social media, Instagram, texting. They need to hear your voice. You can text a friend and say, how are you? And they'll say, I'm good. But we really never know, do we? We never know unless you hear their voice. When you know somebody and love them, you hear that voice. As soon as, they, as, soon as my sister says anything to me, I can tell when something's wrong. My guy, as soon as I talk to him, what's wrong? Because his voice is a different tone. Um, yeah. Anyway, those are four things I have for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, get out and live your life. Don't live a life of regrets. Speak up for yourself. Get on the phone. Tell somebody you love them. I appreciate you so much for watching my videos. I've been making them back to back. I'm feeling good. I hope I'm helping somebody. Subscribe, subscribe, like. Have a great day. Do not regret. Go live your truth. I'll be back. Bye. Thank you.